b cos x 1 by a plus b sin x 1 by a cos x plus b sin x plus c. These models we are seeing. So far we have seen this around one or two questions we have done. This model also we have done and now we are taking up this model. Integral, integral dx by dx by 3 cos x plus 4 sin x plus 6. This is the thing, this is the integral which you are supposed to find. Now, what is the working method? I will recollect, I will revise the working method. I will revise the working method. Working method, step 1 you tell me. Step 1 is put tan x by 2 is equal to t. Second step, cos x, cos x you will write as how much? 1 minus t square by 1 plus t square. Yes, then sin x, 2t by 1 plus t square. Step 4, what is the step 4? dx is equal to 2t by 1 plus t square dt. These are the four steps. When you substitute this, this is already being explained earlier. In earlier session we have seen, the total part we have seen. Here what I am doing, I am listing the things. So, the given integral will become, given integral will become integral 1 by 3, yes, minus 3t square plus 8t plus 6, 6 plus 6t square total divided by 1 plus t square into 2t dt by 1 plus t square. Here I will explain what I have done here. Cos x is substituted here. Sin x this is substituted. Cos x is multiplied by 3. Sin x is multiplied by 4. And afterwards what we have done? The LCM of 6 is multiplied by 1 plus t square. So, you got 6 by 6 plus 6 t square. 1 plus t square, 1 plus t square will go. Now, this dx is 2 dt, that is all. No t please. Because, uh, what is your tan x by 2? Half secant square x by 2 dx is equal to dt. So, sec dx is equal to 2 dt by 1 plus t square. Secant square x is nothing but 1 plus t square. So, 2 dt. Now, simplify this expression. Simplifying this expression, what you will have? 3 plus 9, 6, 9, 9 plus 9 plus 3t square plus 3t square plus uh, 8t. This is dt. Now, this is again becoming 1 by a x a 1 by a x square plus b x plus c model. This is becoming that. How you will simplify this part? How you will work out this part? You will work out by reducing it to either a square plus x square or a square minus x square. So, first you will pull out 3 common, 3 common because t square coefficient must be made 1. So, t square common. So, 3 common t square plus 8 by 3 t plus 3 if you take out common, this 9 will become 3. This is dt. So, 1 by 3 integral 1 by 3 integral 1 by t plus 4 by 3 whole square. 4 by 3 whole square means how much you have written extra? 16 by 9. So, compensatory minus 16 by 9. Minus 16 by 9 plus 3. So, <coughs> how much is that? 27 minus 16. So, plus 11 by 11 by 9. So, root 11 by 3 whole square dt. Okay. Now, this got reduced into what model? 1 by x square plus x square plus a square. 
what is the integration of this 1 by 3 into 1 by a root 11 by 3 into tan inverse t plus 4 by 3 by root 11 by 3 plus c 1 by x square plus a square what is 1 by x square plus a square 1 by a tan inverse x by a plus c now this three part will go 1 by root 11 will be there 3 t plus 4 t is how much t is tan x by 2 you write that plus 4 divided by 3 and 3 gone root 11 plus c this is the answer this is a previous year ip question for an essay question in the continuation of trigonometric functions now we are taking up an important model important procedure of integrating a trigonometric function so what is the important model here expression will be a cos x plus b sin x by c cos x plus d sin x this is the integrand now what i do i will explain more in general after explaining more in general i will take up a numerical example the more method most generalized method this is a mechanical method but very important procedure so idea is here a cos x plus b sin x will be expressed as some k into k into denominator c cos x plus d sin x plus some l into new l into d by dx of the denominator denominator differentiated what is the denominator differentiated denominator c cos x plus d sin x this is the thing which we are writing so what is the advantage we will have advantage is what is the given integrand will become given integrand the given integrand will become integral a cos x plus b sin x by c cos x plus d sin x dx will become k into integral c cos x plus d sin x integral divided by c cos x plus d sin x okay plus what is the other part l into integral d by dx of c cos x plus d sin x divided by c cos x plus d sin x now this part will go here that part will go and you will be left with what you will be left with a constant the constant integration you know as x so what is the integration now this is kx now this integration is how much f dash x by f dash x by fx f dash x by fx will be how much logarithm of c cos x plus d sin x plus integrating constant c now from this procedure we what we have done we have done su successfully the integrated this part now what is the total success of the problem finding out k and l so i will tell you the method of finding out k and l how k and l are found k and l are found by